This event changed the world related to a source of comfort for children and soldiers during turbulent times. Year 1902, Sharkey County, Mississippi. Hulk Collier, former slave, Confederate soldier of the 9th Texas Cavalry and famous bear hunter and outdoorsman, but his claim to fame was a guide for President Theodore Roosevelt. During a black bear hunt, Collier and his dogs flushed out a black bear out of the woods. Cornered by his dogs, the black bear attacked and injured his favorite dog, Jocko. Collier, under strict instructions not to shoot, instead clubbed the black bear with his buttstock of his gun and stunned it. He then tied the bear to a tree and sent for the president to shoot the bear. As the president arrived, encouraged by all other hunters to shoot it, President Roosevelt instead passed. He passed because it would be unsportsmanlike to kill this bear that was already injured and there would be no hunt. This event created a media frenzy and this story was featured on front pages for nearly a week. Numerous cartoon illustrators captured the hunt, but one caught the attention of the public. Drawing the Line in Mississippi by Clifford Berryman featured a cub instead of a full-grown adult black bear. Morris Mictum, New York candy store owner, had an idea. He wrote to the president for permission to name his toy bears teddy bears. And the rest is history. Billions of teddy bears sold and produced for kids, and not only that, but morale boosters for World War I, World War II, and other engagements. A source of comfort for mankind after a president decided not to kill a bear. Video sponsored by Project Grit.